Have you ever started working on a front-end project, created the index.html and app.js, and wondered, why can I just drag and drop the index.html in the browser? What are the limitations of the file protocol? And maybe you know the answer to that and you use something like HTTP server, and then you'd be wondering, yeah, but what's the difference between script and script type module? And even when you switch to script type module, why do I have to use a module bundler such as Webpack or Parcel? In this video, I'm going to be explaining all of these concepts, so let's get started. I'm on my desktop, I'm going to create a new front-end project. And inside of this front-end project, I'm going to create an index.html and an app.js. I'll open it with VS Code. I will start with the boilerplate over here and then I will add a script tag and then you can see script tag src app.js and the app.js I can do console log or yeah let's do it console log it works and now we can drag and drop this into the browser and right click inspect to the console and we can see that this is indeed working. When you drag and drop a file into the browser, it you can see here that it's using the file protocol. And because this is a local file on your computer. And when you're using the file protocol, there are so many web APIs that won't work. So I think importing a map from Google Maps, a map box will most likely not work on the map, on the file protocol. We cannot access the service worker. We cannot register a service worker. That's right. Yeah, the URL protocol of the current origin is not supported. You have to be on HTTPS. Of course, localhost is an exception to that. I don't know exactly the list of APIs that work and don't work, but some, of, but a lot of the things don't work on the Fire protocol. And this is why we need to be on HTTP protocol or HTTPS. And for that, there are so many packages that, um, that can run a local web server. You can npm install globally http-server. And I already did that, so I can run HTTP server and then the current directory you can see here serving the current directory available on this is localhost port 8080 so now i can go to localhost port 8080 and yeah we do get an error for the fav icon but this is only once uh, this is the fav icon so it's not a big deal but yeah this works now let's try and add uh, another file. For example, we have a helpers.js file and console.log I am helpers.js. And now we will import this file. So I will import dot slash the imports. <laughs> the imports have to be, have to start with the path helpers.js. And now we should see both consoles in the browser but it doesn't work, cannot use import statement outside a module. So this script, so this script tag is really old since the beginning of JavaScript and it doesn't support having imports. Whenever you want to use imports and you're not using module bundler such as Webpack or Parcel, you have to use script type module. So this means the browser is actually resolving these imports for you. And now you can see it works. So script and script type module Script type module supports imports natively by the browser, whereas the script tag does not support them. Now for a simple application, you can use script type module, but as soon as you have 20 scripts or as soon as you have several imports, then the browser is not very efficient as, at importing them because it can't know them ahead of time. It can't know all the, we call it the dependency graph, but having something like Webpack or Parcel can compile that dependency graph ahead of time. So it knows that this file imports this file, which imports that file, which imports that file. And then it can be more efficient at merging these files together or uh, even creating bundles. So a separate JavaScript file of the most imported files. So it works more to your advantage in terms of performance. Also currently at the time of recording this video, there is a limitation with import, which is you cannot install libraries. So if I had a library, for example, Lodash, I cannot import Lodash. Now I know I haven't installed it, but I'm gonna skip the npm install. 
If I go back to the browser, it will fail before it even tries to load it. Fail to resolve module specifier lodash. Relative references must start with either slash, dot slash, or dot dot slash. This is because the import when it's resolved by the browser natively with script type equals module can only import local files. So it can only import the helpers.js or another JavaScript file. And this is why if you want this import to work, you would have to use something such as parcel or webpack. So you need a module bundler. Now this is currently being worked on and the spec is called import maps. In the future, this, may, this will most likely be possible natively in the browser, which is quite nice. I'm going to delete this useless project and I'm going to clone a very small, a very small project that uses parcel. So I've created this one for the users of my learn JavaScript.online course. I'm going to go inside of it, take a look, license readme. We have the index.html, the app.css and an SRC folder with index.js. So then I'm going to we also had package.json, so this requires parcel bundler. Parcel is an alternative to Webpack that doesn't require any configuration. So if you have a small to medium project, it just, uh, you just drop it in and it works, you don't have to configure it. For larger projects where you need to have control over what you're importing, the exported bundles, then Webpack is a good solution. So for that, I need to run npm install, which is going to install parcel. It is installed. If I take a look again at the package.json, we can see in the scripts, we can either serve or build. So if I run npm run, so let's open this with VS code. And if I run npm run serve, this is gonna start a server. So it will be using the HTTP protocol. This one is on local on localhost 1234. and this is going to be on localhost port 1234 and if I take a look at this and if I take a look at this project we have the index.html here has a script type module which could also be a script without the type module because the imports are going to be handled by parcel and in the src index.js I can import from libraries so for example here I have the date fns installed just as an example but this import from libraries will also work alongside importing from path. There's also, of course, other benefits of that, such as hot reload. If I add console log, uh, whatever, and then I save and go back to the browser, it will automatically reload and I will see the output here. This speeds up development a lot. And one of the other benefits is that once I want to take this project to production, I need to build. So I'll run npm run build, which is going to run parcel build and then the file. And this is going to create an optimized version of my project. So it will, depending on your imports, but it will merge files together and it will create a more efficient version of your code. So all the JavaScript will be minified. Sometimes several, several files will be merged together. And yeah, you can see here, I'm getting all of these files, the src.js, the index.html and the app.css. This also, the hash here is also used for cache busting so that if you change your JavaScript code, it generates a new file. So the one in the cache will not be used. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn programming, JavaScript or React, check out my interactive courses. They're linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.